In the previous episode, we fought a massive field battle against the Southern Empire, crafted a custom to hand maces, and started a shock troop division. We also captured Harold Hadrada and let him go after battle. We hired several new companions and lost Dizoni, a caravan master. All right, let's get back out there. Lost some damage. Actually, if we can catch these guys, that'd be a good test. They're fast, but we are a little bit faster because they have a lot of prisoners and we have none. Yeah, you didn't let us go when we tried to earlier in this campaign, so. Now, Suleiman Ibn Kutulmish is trying to get us to become a vassal for him. That's not going to happen. Oh, I don't think we can get to that bridge in time. They're going to cross. Well, we could try and couch land somebody. Oh, yeah, we got the boss. We just one tapped him in the head. That's the hardest guy to deal with. So let's let's let everybody just kind of do the thing. And we'll give our cap free reign so we can at least distract him. I don't think we're going to have an issue anymore. Okay, these guys are actually not that hard. Yeah, I'm liking the speed of this. This mount is having no problem keeping up with these guys. Oh, it's Tommy Boy. I saw Tommy Boy smack somebody with a mace. So he's beating horses and beating people. These guys don't seem to have really good armor, so this is not too difficult. No losses. Looks like everybody performed pretty well. I mean, we got most of the kills, to be honest. But these guys have really good gear, so we're going to get some pretty good stuff out of this. Yep, there we go. More armor for a cav. Now, we took Sanon back, it looks like. That's good. And why are we even at war with these guys? We're still pretty far. I guess because Saniopa. Yeah, I didn't realize we still had that. I thought we lost it. They must have just taken it back. That is a lot of armies down there. Okay, interesting. So there's going to be some fun battles to be had over here. Oh, he's pretty confident. He doesn't have a ton of cavalry either, so I'm wondering why his balance power is so high. Now, we do have the option of trying taking that bridge or we can just cross this one and just set up over here we could do that that's probably the more prudent approach i don't think we can get to that one in time unless we plug it with our cav i mean we could do that but why take the extra risk but what we will do is we will use our cav to screen we've got archers ready to shoot once they cross into this little peninsula but we'll use our cav to try and bait them in actually let's let's put the cab back let's go ourselves see if we can entice them to come across uh, they're disciplined. They're holding. Alright, well, let's get out. We can smack this guy with our mace. Not very well. But his arm's pretty weak. But it's hard to aim for it. I actually don't like this. Let's get our cab out. I don't like that situation. We can target some of their horse archers. Oh man, 97 damage. One little tap and he's gone. There you go. Right, we'll just keep picking at him. They can't really do much to us. Our horse is really well armored. Yep, all we need to do is harass him all the way there. Let's get a shield wall going on that bridge. <laughs> oh, he's got no horse now. Man, this thing just shreds. 53 damage. All right, they're coming after me now. Let's get out. Right, this guy we want to take out. Nope. We should probably move this line a little bit more forward so we can cut that bridge off. Alright, group 4 needs to get up here. Uh, I didn't put him up close enough. That's my mistake. We could use them to pick off these guys that are getting through. Alright, not too late. We can pick these guys off still. So. Seems like they're pretty much done. Is that our cab? Why is our cab in there? What are you doing there? Yep, he got moved. I, for some reason he got moved into group one and I never switched anybody. That's odd. Right, let's give the charge command. Everybody can get over there. Ooh, 
Oh wow, they're wiping out our infantry. Alright, we gotta provide some kind of cover then. Yeah, as they get close, the danger gets even higher. The, the armor piercing stats of those weapons are really high when you first you know launch the projectile and they fall off. They lose their kinetic energy. So really close shots are very dangerous. And then the far distance shots, not so much. And it's even more so in this mod. So Themestios died, that's fine. Abu Andrew is the only one that went down of our companions. Actually, Searchy went down as well. Yeah, the infantry did pretty well. A lot of infantry here held the bridge pretty well. So we should get some good XP and levels out of that. And now our shark troops are getting the gear. Let's see what they got. Yeah, he's got the good helmet. Nice, that'd be kind of cool to get everybody with the jeweled pommeled crown. So there goes that noble and that helped us to get to 75 leadership and we're probably going to take the party size yeah we'll take the plus five party size and me and nora hit 275 athletics as well so she should have a little bit more survivability now same with hugh we took a bit of damage there so we should probably get back and heal let's go to epicrodia oh that's so funny while we were waiting to heal one of our companions actually won a tournament it looks like i don't see the message but it says congrats you successfully rolled for lordly imperial studded lamellar blah 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 so we got a pretty good armor piece out of that oh there it is lordly imperial lamellar shoulder so we got some really good shoulder pads and now we've got a giant wolf on our chest diathema fell while we were over there fighting so we took that back we've got diathema and saniopa man that is huge 775 and this is outcasts i'm kind of curious what makes these guys pop out kind of cool now william is trying to take Atrian Castle. There's only 143, so he should be able to do that on his own. And we're attacking Argoron. Man, these guys are brutal. Look at that. Getting a nice little island over here. It's kind of border gore. This kind of reminds me of the Holy Roman Empire or, you know, Germany. They had that little sliver that was stuck. I believe it was the, the Prussian lands. So maybe actually it was Prussia, not Germany. Before Germany. And our caravans are just doing such a good job. Look at that. Almost 500 for two of them. Iskander is even almost at 500. Timothy at 488. And James Johnson with 1300. I don't know what you're peddling. I feel like I don't even want to know. So let's go check on this siege. Actually, we can help him. And yeah, we're not going to get involved. We'll let him do it. Oh, <laughs> thousand troops just popped up out of nowhere. So that's it. So now we've got a nice little island, Argron Diathma Saniopa. But it does open us up to attack from quite a few different places. So that's kind of a uh, concerning. Whoa, what is this? Is it the Madmen? I'm really curious. So they do want to fight it. What if we drag them back to the bridge? If we can create some kind of choke point, I'm curious if that would help. Oh, we're actually not that badly outnumbered or out, outmatched. Only 11 calf. I really hope we get a bridge in this one. <laughs> no bridge. All right, no bridge. What else could we do? We could go down by the beach. That'll create a nice little bottleneck. Yeah, I think that, that might be our best option. Something that's got some kind of choke point for us. So let's get everybody down here. It's not the best choke point, but it's not a bad choke point. Now, why is this guy in there? What are you doing? Searchy infantry. Oh, because we didn't take his horse out. That's fine. Let's just dismount him. And we're going to do something a little funky here. We're going to make a pretty thick shield wall. Or a pretty long one. But we're going to leave the left side undefended. And we're going to have our shock troops somewhere in the back here. And as they start to wrap around and flank, we're going to have crossbows to shoot at them and we're gonna have shock troops to kind of take them out so let's see how that works we've also got cav we could use um not sure how well that's gonna go that's a big group of guys so getting stuck in that is pretty much certain death so we do have to be careful here and as i say that we just run right through them all right let's not do that <laughs> all right their cav are actually pretty legit they don't have a lance oh man 98 damage so he's just about gone we need to get a counter lance on this guy too. Nope. All right, here come the infantry. Let's actually get our cab back. We'll keep them on the flanks and we'll pull. If things get dire, we'll pull them in. All right, let's get back here. All right, there's a cross dresser throwing javelins at us. All right, this is what I was hoping for. So crossbows should be getting pretty good shots. I'll get these horses out of here. And we are starting to lose some people. Let's get our shock troops on the flank. Get them to charge in. 
We can get in here and help as well. It's a lot of them. They're just really weak, but there's a lot. Why are why are our shark ships not doing anything? What are they doing? Right, these guys are wearing women headbands. Interesting. Yeah, we could send Cav into this, but I don't think it's a good idea. There's just too many. I really don't understand. Look at this guy. He's just sitting there. What is he doing? I don't get it. Did I do something to him? Maybe it's just broke. Maybe the charge command's broke. Like, if we leave him on hold, hold ground, they'll start attacking. That's kind of bogus. Right, we're going to charge with our cabin. I think it's safe enough. We've been there heard quite a bit. Yeah, you're not getting by shark troops. Oh man, look at this. There are so many bodies here. That's crazy. Or skirmish him with somebody up here. Oh, there they go. All right, you just bumped him off. No, we, we took some losses for sure. I think we did pretty well though. We didn't take that many losses. And just look at this mound and massive mound of bodies. Our shield wall held pretty firm. If we had put the shock troops on hold ground earlier, we would have been a lot better. For some reason, charging them just did not work. They just sat there and got got beat up on. So let's let's see. I really hope we didn't lose too many. I know for sure we lost some. Okay, we lost only one. We lost Yellow Snow. Uh, one of the earlier ones, so it is not good, but it is what it is. So we got 18 kills. Cav were mostly sitting in the back, so not surprising there. Look at this. Pokey Hyena with 13. That is crazy. Wow. Some other good ones. Galahad with 8. Hugh with 6. There's a couple in there with 6. Jetta, Tim, and Tufu with 10. Okay. There's some really good numbers in here. Now the shock troops, so we did lose a few. Like I said, they weren't really doing anything. They were just kind of sitting there. Considering they sat there for more than half the fight and some of them still met, wound up with four or five kills is not bad at all. Yeah, I, I'll say that's a success. I mean, it sucks losing people, but we accomplished a lot with that. Oh, they had a lot of prisoners too. Probably none of these though. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, we can't use any of them either. Now these guys are, they have a really interesting troop tree. So they start out as crazed man and they go up one tier every two upgrades. So it's kind of interesting. The troop tree is really long and they end with the indomitable man who's got a Rumphalia and a pure blood. Really, really strong, but we're not going to use them. We can't. They're not within our, not troops that we can actually use. Now, for a tier one, to have 90 skill is really good. Yeah, see, that's throwing it off. Look at that, 350. What in the world? So that fearless guy that we had, the one that had the Rumphalia, he was at 290 skill on all these. So that's really strong. This one's at 350. So Indomitable Man, if we can get a bunch of those guys, that would be crazy. Obviously, we can't use them now, but something to think about. And we did get some pretty good gear. Let's see. Uh, let's not upgrade until we get rid of Yellow Snow. Sorry, man. But you're being buried under the bridge. 
Yeah, there's some upgrades in there. We gotta head back to Diathema. Let's go heal. We've got quite a few injured. Yeah, a lot of people took some damage there. That was a tough fight, but it was really fun. And I think taking the beach was the key there. I don't think we would have survived if we were in the open field because they just had so many troops. I think that was the only way we won that. And I realized we haven't assigned anybody to be our surgeon. We should probably do that. So Hugh Janus is going to be the surgeon. He's got a few points to spend. One more focus point and he'll be maxed out in medicine. That's good. Smithing and medicine. So he's very important. Losing him would be really painful. And we're not really using the max capacity of, of our party size. So why don't we do the switch now? I don't think we need to keep it on our main. There's not really any benefit. All these perks are quartermaster. So once we switch off, we're going to lose these anyways. The big benefit is really getting to 100. And then after that, it's really not a big deal. Because that one's party leader tag. So the rest of the stuff is no big deal. So we're going to use Phil Johnson for that one. Because he likewise has quite a few levels ready to go. So three focus points. We'll put one more into Stuart once we get there. So that's going to bring our party size down just a bit. Yeah, 125. Doesn't really make that big of a difference though. Like I said, we're not using all, we're not utilizing the full thing anyways, which we probably should do soon. We've got plenty of cash. It would be nice to get up to a million before we start spending more money because the spring of gold caps out at a thousand. So once we get to a million, we'll be making a thousand off of that. And that million point will be basically our zero. We'll just pretend as if we, we have zero at a million so that we can make sure we maintain that income. Because as you can see, it's not easy making money in this. Our, our workshops are terrible. Our caravans are doing really well, but that can change in an instant with wars or if they get captured, things like that. So, and obviously the alleyways are, are pretty bad. Yeah. Pen Canonk is basically giving us nothing. So I think that's what we should do. We're actually going to pick up some people. I want to start a new division. So let's go ahead and welcome Hunt Sandal. We got Aetherium, Harry Hand, Radim of Krumsin, and Val Valentine. We're also going to need five more. So let's go to Saniopa. So let's also take in Krangis McBasketball, Dave, Viron, Mutantus, Snailus, and Trigger. So we've got our 10 companions. Let's go ahead and outfit them. I'm going to talk about what we're doing. I spent a little bit of time offline getting a lot of gear ready for these guys. So we need more. Where are you? Javelin's ready. Actually, we don't need that many. Sorry. We need to make sure this guy keeps the shield too. So this division is going to specifically be Javelin Cavalry with no other weapons. So once they run out, they run out. That's it. Now, potentially they could save the last one and, and use it. But in my experience, they don't usually do that unless they're in melee range already. This is kind of a unique unit. They're really meant to counter anything with a flank, with easily accessible flank, at least up until you get level 250, the throwing perk. And then you can basically take anybody on from any direction because the shields don't make a difference. Hopefully everybody here lasts long enough to get to that point, but you never know. This is Bannerlord. You never know what the heck's going to happen. And that pretty much used up most of our fine steel. So if we want to make anything else, we either need to find some hardwood so that we can refine, or we need to find some weapons to smelt down. We'll kind of be of action as far as smithing goes for just a little bit. I also adjusted the recipe. I know on some of these you'll see some of them look a little bit different just because I didn't want to use up all the fine steel and the stuff that doesn't matter. So, but they do the exact same amount of damage. It's not really a big deal. Now, these guys also are going to have their own division. So why don't we give them one of the banners? I'm thinking one of these ranged accuracy penalty reduction. That should be pretty nice. And Hunt Sandal, since you were first, you're going to be the banner bearer. Now, we don't need to move these guys. So they're going to stay below the melee cav. I think that's fine. So we do need to go into a test battle so we can get them situated. Otherwise, they're just going to throw them all into one. Let's do that. And we'll see how good they are. All right, we don't want to be fighting with these guys. Let's go somewhere normal. Okay, we're just not going to fight these guys, I guess. There we go. <laughs> that took way too long, man. All right, Hunt Sandal. Actually, we need to create an extra group. This should be just melee. This should be just melee as well, but this one should have a preference for thrown weapons, and this one should have a preference for pole arms. They both have shields, so that doesn't work, but these guys don't have pole arms, and these guys don't have throwing weapons, so. So Hunt Sandal can be the leader. Everybody else fall in line, and let's get going. Oh, they're all mounted. Interesting. Well, let's see how well we do. I've noticed keeping these guys stationary, they tend to do a bit better. Does that guy not have a... Oh, no, he does. I was going to say, does he not have a weapon? <laughs> Alright, there's one down. Only the horse, though. So they will switch it to melee mode at some time. But I would much prefer if they just threw their weapons instead of stabbing people. Yeah, that's how it happens. Yeah, so if you look at all the XP they got, literally everybody got whole arm XP. It's kind of silly, but it is what it is. So, all right, we got our group set up. They're a bit more effective uh, against people on foot. Against Cav, not really. I guess if they get stuck in a formation, they could potentially 
do some damage, but not really. So we're still at war here with the Southern Empire. Let's get in there and do some damage. So how is this army looking? There's actually two armies here. So it's William the Bastard and Sir Vic's army. So we could potentially take a fight with some of these guys since they're separated. Yeah, let's run them down. Probably all... No, it's not all Cav. Their balance of power is pretty strong for being a third the size. And I keep forgetting one of these guys has a horse, one of our infantry units. Yeah, so let's get rid of that. So you can actually be an infantry now. There we go. That looks much better. So we're going to send our melee cav over to distract these cav. Oh, they're coming in at us. So we'll send them in to distract. Let's go ahead and flank around with our javelin cav. And I want to let them get some shots off on these, these archers. All right, making a left turn here. So we'll set the javelin cav up right here. We've got shields. We've got really good armor. Oh, man. Somebody already got a kill. Look at that. Man, they launched this thing fast. All right, we're, we're taking out shields. We're taking out people. Oh, and we're getting taken out. Oh, crap. That guy just got couch lanced instantly. This guy's trying to couch lance us as well. Nope, not today, buddy. Oh, right in the back of the head. All right, so they're... That's the weakness, getting couch lanced, obviously. Let's go and move these guys out. They still have a decent amount of them. Now, we've got the perk so that they're getting plus three. Oh, they're just running. <laughs> I guess we hit him too hard. I missed it. Trying to text somebody and I missed it. We didn't lose anybody. Well, that's good. Just a couple injuries. And our surgeon hit Dr. Zoth, so we should be getting more XP from that. And Hokey hit Mighty Blow, 275 athletics. Now let's see if we can get into some battles here. Now this guy's actually going to give up. And since we're a mercenary, we only care about the money. We'll take the cash. Leave him alone. Let's go chase down this other party. Now this guy actually turned to attack us. Interesting. And it's all infantry. 40, 40 infantry. We're going to try a little bit different of a formation here. So they're actually coming to do us. So we don't need to do much. They may stop. But let's see. Let's get some shots on them before they get here. Yeah, they're coming right in. So let's go ahead and shield wall up. Let's get our cavalry out of the way. And ready to flank. All right, they reached our line. Let's get these guys into position. All right, we're going to let it loose. Let's charge our cav in. Let's get our shock troops into position as well. So we're hitting them several different angles. Oh, man, it's a slaughter. I don't care how strong these guys are. There's no way they can withstand that. Keep repositioning our, our javelin cast so they can get easy hits. Just destroying them. And they don't need to do, you know, critical damage. They could just take shields out and it would absolutely devastate them. Because without a shield, their defenses are really bad. We've got a bunch of, you know, really long range javelins. So they'd have to block every single one. So we had a single injury from that. Not bad at all. And that was uh, Tail Lord. Oh, good thing he didn't die. Cletus with three. Hugh with two. We got a couple people in here with two. And our shark troops did pretty well as, as well. So we got Ethazor with three. Technoblade with two. A couple others with, with at least one. And actually, the Javelin Cav got a couple kills. Yeah, only two. So like I said, the majority of their job is just, just to break shields. If they break the shield, they really don't have a whole lot of defense. They're going to fall very quickly. All right, we'll let him go. And who else is around? There's another... Oh, no, that's the guy that we already... We already took his money. Lycoron Falls, and we got a ton of perks here. We got about 14 to pick. You know, while I'm picking these, let's talk about what comes next. So we're at a half a million right now, and our income is going up pretty fast. I think what our next goal should be is to get to a million. And once we get to a million, we can switch over to being a vassal instead of a mercenary. I think that would be enough time. And then from that point, we can look to really take some land and establish ourselves, hold it for a long time, make sure we don't lose it, and kind of switch up our play. So we've got a little ways to go to get to a million. It's not 
not going to take nearly as long because our income is going up really fast right now. Well, other than our workshops, our workshops are still floundering a bit. And we actually lost one of our workshops. Or did we sell it? And then we hit Clanter 4. I thought we had five already. I could be wrong about that, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe the tier three workshop is too much. Let's drop everything back down. So we'll get a little bit of money from that. It goes into the bank. It goes into the current capital, which is fine. Let's just go back to the basics and see if we can actually make some money. Now, obviously, this is coming back to us because it's money that we're getting back. It's not because the workshops are doing well. So let's give it a few days. Let those even out. If we're not making money at the base, then we really need to get rid of these things. All right, we got peace with the Southern Empire. Uh, so we're not at war with anybody now. That was the last one. And we are getting 2100 from them. Well, we aren't because we're not a vassal yet, but somebody's getting 2100. Yeah, the money's slowly filtering out. Let's give it a little more, a few more days. And while we're waiting, let's just go to a couple different towns. We'd still need to discover a lot of people. There's a lot of people we haven't met in the world. See, look, it hasn't been that long. We're already almost at 600k. Now we're going to lose Sargo if we don't get back in time. We may not be able to get back in time even if we leave now. That's pretty far. Sargo is the one that's actually making decent money that's the one that's actually making decent money so that would be unfortunate but if it happens we could take our brother back or we can actually have him start his own party we could do something like that. Well, actually, we know we, we don't want to do that because we want to save up the money. He's going to take up a bunch of cash. So we'll see. We'll probably just let it go. It's not the end of the world. So let's go to a couple of these. Wait a few more days till our money balances out. Pillaging brigands. Who are these guys? So they've got ranged cavalry, infantry, no horse archer. How do they feel about us? So they want to fight. It's pretty even. They're going to be coming at us. We could take up residence in that little hill. I mean, it's not a little hill. It's a pretty big hill. We could make it up there. Yeah, let's try and make it up the hill. I think it'll be worth our time. I don't know if they can make it up this or if they have to come around there. This may be impassable. Well, let's get our cab out of the way. They're not going to do us any good up here on the steep hill. But once once we start taking fire or taking shots from their archers, we can probably switch them up. You know what we might want to do is... Oh, they're going after... They're going after those guys. We'll just send them to charge. Now, they may actually split in half right here. That would be interesting. They're kind of going half and half. So let's get these guys over here in a shield wall. Group 5 is just going to go straight up on the hill. Group 4 can block the backside. They don't have too many coming this way. And then our javelin cav can come up here and, and provide some support as well. They have a lot of low tier guys, but they could overwhelm. We don't want them to overwhelm our guys, so let's try and help out. Oh, that's a lot. All right, Javelin Cavs should be getting some, some good shots off in these guys. They don't have any armor at all, so it should be an instant kill. These are really low tier, so they probably don't do a whole lot of damage either. Let's see what they have left on this side. Nothing. Yeah, these are all trash units. All right, let's get our cab over there. We need to take out whatever archers they got. Let's get our javelin cab over here as well. Yeah, none of these guys have armor at all. None of them. So they just have a ton of numbers. All right, it's just a turkey shoot at this point. These guys are getting slaughtered. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got two injuries, no losses. Ton of influence. That was definitely worth the money. We got 23 kills. Cav got a lot of kills. Chumber with uh, with four. Hunt Sandal with four. Val with four. Oh, look at this. Servo with eight. That's really good. Ulfnar with nine. I mean, the infantry had more chances because they're just standing there slicing at these low tier guys. Yeah, see, like even the shock troops. Actually, the shock troops did incredibly well. Yeah, these are really good numbers. Not great XP, but I mean, they were seemed like they were mostly low tier. So it kind of makes sense. But it's it's cool to see that we could hold a hill like that with while being outnumbered pretty massively. And our javelin cavalry did get some upgrades with the, with the armor. Uh, there's no way we catch that last guy. Right, now we were heading north. Let's go to one more town and then we'll stop to check out. Oh, is this guy going to leave us alone? I wouldn't mind fighting them again. That was really easy money. Although it looks like our mercenary contract is getting cut back, which makes sense. We're not at war anymore. Oh, wow. Is it? Well, no, that might still be filtering out. 
Yeah, we need three more days for that plus 5,000 to filter off. So if we take that 5,000 out, we're at 644 with this one, which is not very good. This one's still at a loss. This one's at a loss still. And so is this one. But also some of the shop wages are still carrying over. So there's still three days of the high shop wage. So maybe not. Yeah, let's just let's just give it a full seven days for the, everything to filter out. All right, so we've got three days to get to a couple more towns. Oh, they wanted us. It's all right. Oh, boy. Harold Sigurdsson again. Didn't we already destroy you once? Now, we do have a caravan up there. I hope he doesn't get gobbled up. He better be heading out this way to the right. The Sturgia is on their last legs. They don't have a whole lot left. 